everyone! My name is Miss Amber and I work over at Lehigh Valley Public Media as the Education Outreach Specialist. Today we're going to read a very exciting book. It's called What Do You Do With An Idea? It's written by Kobe Yamada and illustrated by Mae Bessem. Let's get started. One day, I had an idea. Where did it come from? Why is it here? I wondered. What do you do with an idea? Here's our little main character. And his little baby idea egg right here. Let's see what happens next. At first, I didn't think much of it. It seemed kind of strange and fragile. I didn't know what to do with it, so I just walked away from it. I acted like it didn't belong to me. So there's our little idea egg and him walking away. Oh no! I hope he comes back or the idea will be all alone. But it followed me! Oh my goodness, that's a smart idea! He didn't let him walk away. There he is, trugging along behind him, staying super close. I worried what others would think. What would people say about my idea? I kept it to myself. I hid it away and I didn't talk about it. I tried to act like everything was the same as it was before my idea showed up. So there's our character hiding away the egg in some plants and some bushes. But there was something magical about my idea. I had to admit, I felt better and happier when it was around. Well, it doesn't look like that idea egg stayed in the bushes very long. There is him splashing around with some frogs and oh, I think I see a little smile on our character's face. It wanted food. It wanted to play. Actually, it wanted a lot of attention. There he is, his idea egg. Oh, it looks like it may be getting a little bigger. Look at him pushing him along. And it looks like they are having a lot of fun. It grew bigger and we became friends. There they are, happy together. And he's carrying him a little backpack. He's keeping that idea nice and close now. I showed it to other people even though I was afraid of what they would say. I was afraid that if people saw it, they would laugh at it. I was afraid they would think it was silly. And many of them did. They said it was no good. They said it was too weird. They said it was a waste of time and that it would never become anything. Oh my goodness, those are some harsh words. Let's see if we can have some kinder words. And at first, I believed them. I actually thought about giving up on my idea. I almost listened to them. Oh no, it's like we're back at the beginning of the book and his idea is all alone and he's walking away. But then I realized what did they really know? This is my idea, I thought. No one knows it like I do. And it's okay if it's different and, and weird and maybe a little crazy. I decided to protect it, to care for it. I fed it good food, I worked with it, I played with it, but most of all, I gave it my attention. Oh good, there they are back together, sharing a nice warm hug. My idea grew and grew and so did my love for it. 
there they are, seesawing, just the happiest little pair. I built it a new house, one with an open roof where it could look up at the stars, a place where it could be safe to dream. Wow, look at that beautiful house. I see some planets. Oh, maybe up there are some reindeer. And it is just a beautiful view that he made for this very big idea egg he's got here. I liked being with my idea. It made me feel more alive, like I could do anything. It encouraged me to think big and then to think even bigger. It shared its secrets with me. It showed me how to walk on my hands because it said, tis good to have the ability to see things differently. Have you ever turned upside down and the world looked a little different? Yeah, that's super fun. I couldn't imagine my life without it. Then, one day, something amazing happened. My idea changed right before my very eyes. It spread its wings, took flight, and burst into the sky. Oh my goodness, there it is. Bursting up, there's its little crown. know how to describe it, but it went from being here to being everywhere. It wasn't just a part of me anymore. It was now part of everything. And then I realized, what do you do with an idea? You change the world. What a beautiful story of our character starting with such a teeny tiny little idea egg and changing the whole big world. You can change it too. And I'm going to give you a craft to get you started. All right, everyone. We're gonna get started with our craft to, with, for what do you do with an idea. So I have a couple suggestions of some things that you might wanna have, maybe some coloring materials like some crayons or some colored pencils or some markers and maybe some construction paper or fun colored paper that will just help in your design. So the next thing that you'll need is something that you're gonna find in maybe a recycling bin or maybe an old refrigerator item. I used a couple different things and I'll show you how I use them. So when I was thinking of what kind of project we could create for this book, I thought just like the character had an idea egg, maybe we could create little containers to keep all of our incredible ideas so that we could have an idea container of our very own. So I'm gonna show you some ideas of how I created my idea containers. So this one used to be an old yogurt container and I took it right out of my recycling bin I covered it with some blue construction paper and I wrote on the top, Amber's Ideas. And I decorated this one with some clouds and a sun and a moon. Because when I think of ideas, I think about dreaming and thinking outside of the box. So I drew some clouds and things like that on this container. This one used to be an old pasta sauce jar. When the pasta sauce was all empty, I rinsed out my jar and created an idea jar. And for this one, I drew some eggs on it, inspired by the idea egg from the book. For this one, this used to be a little jewelry box. And for this one, I called it idea seeds. Because when I think about ideas, it's like planting little seeds in the ground that are gonna turn into beautiful flowers, just like in our book when the idea egg took over the world. This one 
was a box that actually used to have a candle in it. But once I took the candle out, it became an idea box. And I used this one with some question marks because you never really quite know what idea is coming next. So there's always a question mark. So here it is, my idea box, and I can open it up and put them right inside. The last one I have to show you was actually a fast food container. I got some food in this, and then when it was all done, I cleaned it out and made it an idea bowl. And the way that I put a quote underneath says, capturing all the yummiest ideas. So there are so many different kinds of containers that you can use, and I am sure you can find the perfect one in your recycling bin to create your idea container, whatever it may look like, box, bowl, jar, anything you can think of. Then you want to think about what's going to come inside. You for maybe you want to make little pieces of paper that you write your ideas on and stick inside. Whoop. Or maybe you want to use special post-its. Or maybe you just want to have a piece of your notebook or a teeny tiny little notebook to write your ideas on and rip them out. The very last thing that you'll need is a special pen. I'm going to use this guy as my idea pen. But you can use any pen, pencil, marker, maybe even a sparkly gel pen to be your very special idea pen. So once you have everything collected and your container all made, put it in a very special space so that you have a wonderful world to create your ideas. I am so excited for you and had so much fun reading and creating and I hope you have a great time too. And remember, come on back here for the next Saturday read-along. Thanks so much, guys.